بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وصلى الله على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم تسليما الحمد لله first of all welcome everybody back inshallah may Allah make this a blessed semester for you for those that are concluding their journey uh, may the beginning of their next farsakh you know the next manzila the next phase be a blessed one wherever you go wherever you end up um, and also for those that are going to be here inshallah next year may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make this uh, you know, a solid foundation for what you're going to be coming into this program hopefully becomes clearer and clearer as you move along the program hopefully by the end things are clear uh, so shukr is it's just such a great word in Arabic. You know, the sheen, they call it harf tafashi, yatafasha. So gratitude is something that when somebody's in a state of gratitude, other people feel it. When somebody's in a state of ingratitude, other people feel it also. Nobody wants to be around ungrateful people. And then the ra is very interesting because it's, Harfu takrir. It's something yistamirru. So, lain shikartum la zidannakum. Some of the people translated that, you know, if you are grateful for your worldly things, Allah will give you uh, more. But I think a more appropriate interpretation was that lain uh, shikartum la zidannakum mahabbatan. That my love for you will increase. <laughs> Not your blessings. The blessings, they're already innumerable. So people are greedy for more. <laughs> so, uh, Raghib, uh, عنه, who's, I think, one of the most extraordinary people this ummah produced, he, uh, from the great city of Asfahan. Uh, Raghib, beautiful name too. Raghib was, uh, he's a very enig enigmatic figure because we know so little about him. Like his death date is within a hundred years. It's amazing for somebody that had such an impact because he influenced, I mean, his mufradat are the foundation for all the people after for really understanding the Arabic of the Quran. But his, uh, and then his tafsir, which a lot of it we lost, but we still have a few volumes. Tafsir uh, al-Nashatayn, Tafsir al-Sa'adatayn, which I commented on this Ramadan is I, one of the most extraordinary books I've ever read. Anyway, his Dari'a, I've been reading this book for a long time, and um, it, it's a new book every time I've looked at it. It's just always things uh, come out. But I think what he did in this book, you know, I was talking about it with somebody today, uh, what he did with this book was he he just gave a, a commentary on on the Quran itself. You know, kind of khuluquhu al Quran. When Aisha was asked what was the character of the Prophet she said his character was the Quran. And what he did was he set out to to really you asiru khuluq al Quran, like to 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 give the khuluq of the Quran because he distinguishes between Sharia. Which anybody can learn if you have the himma and the, and the patience. Sharia can learn. But makarma sharia is a different thing. And he says that the sharia cannot be realized until the makarma sharia are realized. And he said the, the, the purpose of the makarma sharia is to achieve khilafa. That you can't be a khalifa of Allah until you embody the makarim of the sharia. And all of it is in the Quran. And 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 he has a tasarruf bil Quran that I haven't seen in any other author, to be honest with you. I really haven't, you know. And this is, I mean, some of the scholars here, mashallah, have the same uh, or more, you know, reading. Uh, but um, you know, this is like almost forty years in the Torah of the Islamic tradition, and it's just his ability to to. Um, just open up the Quran. He had immense futahat. So he says, "Shukru, huwa tasawr al munami alayhi al nigmata wa izharuha." That shukr is 
to really uh, conceive of the, you know, the one who's blessed, that he he really has a an understanding of the blessing, but then he manifests it. So it's not simply to 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 have a tasawwur of it, to have some understanding of it, but actually to to manifest it. Qila huwa maqloobun an al-kashri. The Arabs have in the ishtiqaq al uh, akbar and the 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 kubra. They they have a whenever the letters are related, there's some kind of relationship according to uh, some of the scholars. So he says it's maqloob an al-kashri. So there's Arabic words that there. If you if you reverse them, you'll get a some nuanced meaning of the word in its uh, like lama'a and amila and alima. So lama'a is to be bright, yalma'u. Uh, the alma'i is brilliant, like same type of word. So alim is a scholar. So that's a an example of the the word being maqloob and then having a nuance of the meaning. So he says, an al-kashri, wa huwa al-kashf. The Arabs say, you know, al-kalb kashra an anyabi, Like the... The uh, the uh, the dog revealed its teeth. إذا رأى ذا بزة يوما كشرت نبحت عليه وكشرت نيابها, like the poet says. So so عن الكشري وهو الكشف ويضاده الكفر كفرا. So cover in English may be related. Allah alam or just coincidence. Cover. Kafar. You know to cover something. So the shukar is to reveal. The the kufr is to conceal. So the the one who's grateful is revealing their blessings. The one who's ungrateful is concealing them, and that's why kafir is the opposite of shakir, right? So kufr in its essence is ingratitude. First of all, to your creator, just to not even acknowledge him, like an atheist who doesn't even acknowledge that that they're created, which is ridiculous. So, so the Arabs call a, 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 a like a hefty um, animal, like it's got good flesh on it. They call it dabbatun shakur. Why? Mudhiratun bisiminiha isda'a sahibiha ilayha. Because it's showing that the owner takes good care of it. So when you're grateful, you're really you're showing that you appreciate what Allah has done for you. So the Arabs say, It's to be filled with the, the remembrance of the one who has blessed you. And from this perspective, it's been said that it actually is more far-reaching than praise. And it's said that it's more far-reaching than praise because... The hamd is to mention something, the, the praiseworthy qualities of it. But shukr is to mention those qualities, but also the blessings that accompany those qualities. فَشُكْرُ عَلَى ثَرَاثِتِ أَضْرُوبِ شُكْرٌ بالقلب. There's three types of shukr. Gratitude of the heart. وَهُوَ تَصَوْرَ nima. So it's this perception of the ni'mah, this understanding. وَشُكْرٌ بِاللِّسَانِ وَهُوَ ثَنَاءُ عَلَى الْمُنْعِمِ And then gratitude with the tongue, which is to praise the one who has blessed you. وَشُكْرٌ بِسَائِرُ الْجَوَارِحِ وَهُوَ مُكَافَأَتُهُ بِقَدِرِ اسْتَحْقَاقِهِ and, and that's gratitude with the rest of the limbs. Like in the Matara, he says, uh, that وَشُكُرُوا صَرْفُ الْعَبْدِ مَا أَوْلَاهُ مَوْلَاهُ مِنْ نَعْمَاهُ فِي رِضَاهُ That shukr is to expand what uh, has been given to you of blessings in uh, things that please the one who gave that. So, you know, if, if you give somebody money to use it for something positive and then they just go waste it, you feel like they were ungrateful in terms of the blessing they were given. 
And that and that's why on Yom Qiyam, I think probably the most difficult thing for most of us, for if not the vast majority of humans, is the human potential that Allah gave us and the fact that we never really exhausted it. You know, we have this amazing human potential, the intellect. Like you can learn so many things, you can you can do so many things, and yet we squander all that. It's also uh, in terms of the one who actually is grateful, one mashkur. So this is also uh, the shakir and the mashkur. There's three types. So shukur al-insani liman fawqahu, the gratitude of a, of a human being for that which is over him, the one who's over him. And that is through service and praise with dua and supplication. So somebody who's a, a khadim of somebody who's makhdum and with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala obviously. وَشُكُرُهُ لِنَغِيرِهِ وَهُوَ بِالْمُكَافَأَ And also the gratitude that you have for your peer. And that's with mukafa'a, that you recompense them. وَشُكُرُهُ لِمَنْ هُوَ دُونُهُ وَهُوَ بِالثَّوَابِ And the one who's lower than you, and, and the way you show gratitude is actually to reward them for their service to you. Right? Because you, you're grateful, but that because they're beneath you, you, you reward them. وَقَدْ وَصَفَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَى نَفْسُهُ بِالشُكْرِ لِصَالِحِ عِبَادِهِ وَالشُكْرُ الْعَبْدِ لِرَبِّهِ هُوَ مَعْرِفَةُ نِعْمَتِهِ وَتَحَفَّضُ جَوَارِحِهِ بِمَنْعِهَا عَنْ اسْتِعْمَارِ مَا لَا يَنْبَغِي وَمَعْنَهُ بِالْفَارِسِيَةِ سَبَاسْ دَارُمْ خُدَائِرَا I hope I got that right. سَبَاسْ دَارُمْ خُدَائِرَا He was Pharisee, so this is his language. So he says that the Allah described himself as showing, uh, you know, his gratitude towards the righteous among his servants, and his his uh, and the the gratitude of the servant to his lord is th- the awareness of the blessing and then to guard his limbs in preventing them from using those blessings in what is not appropriate and its meaning at farisiya is sabas darum khodaira so he's harisun lahu ala jawarihi he guards uh, his blessings for the one who gave it to him uh, concerning his limbs. وَشُكْرُ الْمُنْعِمْ بِالْجُمْلَى وَاجِبٌ بِالْعَقْرِ كَمَا هُوَ وَاجِبٌ بِالشَّرْحِ And to be grateful to the one who has bestowed something on you, you know, it's, it's something that's, there's a rational duty here as well as a, uh, a sacred duty. So, so just even a non-Muslim who, who might not even believe in God, there's a, an awareness that he should be grateful for somebody who's giving him some kind of uh, something that warrants his gratitude. وَأُجَبُهُ شُكْرُ الْبَارِ تَعَالَى ثُمَّ شُكْرُ مَنْ جَعْلُهُ سَبَبًا لِوَصُولِ خَيْرٍ إِلَيْكَ عَلَى يَدِّهِ So the, 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 the most, uh, you know, the one you're most obliged uh, to have is the gratitude of the Creator and then the gratitude of one who man ja'alahu sababan li wusuri khairin ilayk. Allah made him a means by which you arrived at some good in your life, especially your teachers. Right? I mean, that, that, your, your parents who are your first teachers, whoever taught you, even the person, you know, the, uh, the Arabs say, man, man, man alamaka harfan sirta lahu abda. If somebody teaches you a letter, that you, you become like a servant to them. And, and that's a type of gratitude. وَلِهَذَا قَالَ عَلَيْهُ صَلَاةُ وَسَلَمُ لَا يَشْكُرِ اللَّهِ مَنْ لَمْ يَشْكُرِ النَّاسِ They have not shown gratitude to Allah, those who have not shown gratitude to people, to the means. وَقَالَ عَلَيْهُ صَلَاةُ وَسَلَمُ أُشْكُرْ لِمَنْ أَنْعَمَ عَلَيْكَ وَأَنْعِمْ عَلَى مَنْ شَكَرَكَ فَإِنَّهُ لَا زَوَالَ لِنِعْمَةٍ إِذَا شُكِرَتْ وَلَا دَوَامَ لَهَا إِذَا كُفِرَتْ be grateful to the one who has blessed you and bless the one وَأَنْعِمْ عَلَى مَنْ شَكَرَكَ and bless the one who has shown gratitude to you because لَا زَوَالَ لِنِعْمَةٍ إِذَا شُكِرَتْ There's no, like Ibn Atayilah says about the ni'm in, uh, in the hikam uh, 
من لم يشكر النعم تعرض لزوالها ومن شكرها قيدها بعقالها أو بحبالها. So, so whoever doesn't show gratitude to Allah, right, then he's exposed his ni'ams to, 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 to dissipate. And that's why he says, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in this hadith, uh, he says that, you know, be grateful, be bless the one who shows you gratitude. The, the, the blessing will not dissipate if it's, if it's uh, thanked. And there's no continuity of a blessing if, it's, uh, if there's no gratitude for it. وَقَالَ بَعْضُ أَهْلِ الْعِلْمِ كُلُّ نِعْمَةٍ يُمْكِنُ شُكُرُهَا إِلَّا نِعْمَةُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى And some of the scholars have said, every blessing, كُلُّ نِعْمَةٍ يُمْكِنُ شُكُرُهَا إِلَّا نِعْمَةُ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى Every blessing you can actually have gratitude for except the blessings of Allah. فَإِنْ, uh, فإن, uh, فإن شُكْرَ نِعْمَتِهِ نِعْمَةٌ مِّنْهُ Because the gratitude of His blessing is a blessing. فَيَحْتَاجُ الْعَبْدُ أَنْ يَشْكُرَ الثَّانِي فَشُكْرِهِ الْأَوَّلِ So he needs, the servant needs to be grateful for, for the blessing of, of actually being grateful. And then he says, وَكَذَلِكَ الْحَالِ فِي الثَّارِثِ وَالرَّابِعِ And then you have to be grateful that you were grateful for the blessing that you were given. And then that you were grateful that you were grateful for the blessing. And then he says, that goes on forever. And so you can never be grateful to the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's why Musa alayhi salam, walidharika qara Musa alayhi salam, Allahumma amartani bi shukri ala ni'matika wa shukri iyaka ni'matun min ni'amika. You have commanded me to be grateful, O Allah, for your blessing on, upon me. But your blessing, but my gratitude toward you for your blessing is among your blessings. وَمِنْ هَذَا أَخَذَ شَعْرُ فَقَالْ إِذَا كَانَ شُكْرِ نِعْمَةَ اللَّهِ نِعْمَةٌ عَلَيَّ لَهُ فِي مِثْلِهَا يَجِبُ الشُكْرُ If my gratitude to the blessing of Allah is, 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 a, is an act of gratitude, then upon me is the likes of it, I'm obligated to show gratitude. فَكَيْفَ بُلُوغُ الشُّكْرِ إِلَّا بِفَضْلِهِ وَإِنْ طَالَتَ الْأَيَامُ وَاتَّصَلُ الْعُمْرُ So how could I ever reach the gratitude of His bounty, of Allah's bounty, even if the days are long and, 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 and the life continues? وَذِهَاذَ قِيلَ غَيَتُ شُكْرِ اللَّهِ تَعَالَى الْاَعْتِرَافِ And for this reason, it's been said that the extent of gratitude to Allah is simply to admit that you're incapable of showing gratitude to Allah. بَلْ قَدْ قَالَ تَعَالَى وَإِنْ تَعُدُّ نِعْمَةُ اللَّهِ لَا تُحْصُوهَا Allah has said, if you show, uh, if you enumerate the blessings of Allah, you will never uh, complete them. If you begin to count them, you will never enumerate them. وَأَيْضًا فَكُلُّ مَا يَفْعَلُ اللَّهُ بِعَبْدِهِ فَهُوَ مِنْهُ نِعْمَةٌ Everything that Allah does to Allah's servant is from Allah a blessing. وَإِنْ كَانَ قَدْ يُعَدُّ بَعْضُ ذَلِكَ بَلِيَةً Even if you think it's a tribulation. عَجَبًا لِيَأْمَرُ الْمُؤْمِنِ فِيْنَّ أَمْرُهُ لَهُ كُلُّهُ خَيْرٌ it's all good from Allah. The Prophet said, "Ummati, ummatu marhuma ju'ila adabu leysa laha adabun fi dunyaha, fi ukhraha inma ju'ila adabuha fi dunyaha." Al fitan wa zilazil wa qatil. So when you see a lot of what's happening in the Muslim world, it's the dhanub of of our ummah. We're, we're in a state of sinfulness. We have been for a long time. But the Prophet said it's marhuma, but we don't see it because man dhanna intikaka lutfihi an qadri fa innuhu min qisr al nazar. Whoever sees that the, the lutf of Allah is not in the qadr of Allah, then it's from myopia. You're just not looking far enough because you're not looking to the akhirah. You're just looking, you're stuck in this dunya, on this plane, thinking this is all there is. You know, the afterlife's a hype. Right? Pie in the sky. And this is what the atheists say. You know, they say it's all a lie. It's just a way that the people in power are tricking everybody to think they're going to get some kind of judgment in the afterlife. They'll see. That's what Allah says. 
And this is why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala وَلِذَلِكَ قَالَ بَعْضُ الصَّارِحِينَ يَا مَنْ مَنْعُهُ عَطَاهُ وَبَلَأُهُ نَعْمَاهُ وَلِأَجِي سُعُوبَةِ شُكْرِهِ O you whose withholding is giving, O you whose tribulation is blessing, but because this is so difficult to show gratitude for, قال الله سبحانه وتعالى وقليل من عبادي الشكور How few of my servants are always grateful. Like it's hyperbole, فعول, right? So thank God it didn't say قليل من عبادي شاكر, right? وَلَمْ يُثْنِي بِشُكْرِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala لَمْ يُثْنِي بِشُكْرِ عَلَىٰ أَوْلِيَائِهِ إِلَّا عَلَىٰ إِثْنَيْنِ مِنْهُمْ In the entire Qur'an, there's only two servants that Allah praises them for gratitude out of the entire Qur'an. قَالَ فِي إِبْرَاهِيمِ شَاكِنًا لِأَنْعُمِهِ فَخَصَ اللَّهُ تَعَالَىٰ لَفْضِ الْأَنْعُمِ so it's a min jam al qilla. So he's saying even those small blessings, he was grateful. Waqara fi Nuh innu kana abdan shakura. Nuh alayhi salam was a always grateful. This is a man who had immense tribulation. He's a 950 years putting up with kuffar. وَعَلَمَ أَنَّ الشُّكْرَ وَالصَّبْرَ جِمَاعُ الْإِيمَانِ Patience and gratitude. In, in, in the فِذَارِكَ الْآيَةَنِ كُلِّ صَبَّارٍ شَكُورٍ right? so, so the Qur'an, if you look, there's several places where sabr and shukr are, are, are put together because that's, that's the entirety of iman. Shukr and sabr. كَمَا رُوِيَ فِي الْخَبَرِ وَقَدْ رُوِيَ أَصَبْرُ نِصْفُ الْإِيمَانِ فَالنِّصْفَ الْآخِرَ الشُّكَرِ It's almost over and then you can eat. لكن قد قال بعد المتصوفة الشكر أفضل من الصبر Some of the متصوفة There's you know, some difference between Sufiya and متصوفة uh, But he's probably not here. الشكر أفضل من الصبر Gratitude is better than patience. فَإِنَّ صَبْرَ حَبْسُ النَّفْسِ عَلَى مُسَالَمَةَ الْبَلَى It's to control the, the ego in terms of its navigating, in terms of its um, basically accommodating the tribulation. يُسَالِمُهُ So they're just living with it, but in a way that it's not, they're not at war with it. Because a lot of people when they have tribulation, they're just angry all the time. So they prevent their nafs from, from that. وَالشُّكْرُ أَلَّا يُلْتَفَتَ إِلَى الْبَلَى But gratitude, you don't even look at the tribulation. You don't even think of it as a tribulation. بَلْ يَرَاهُ مِنَ النَّعْمَى They see it as a blessing. فَمَنْ صَبْرَ فَقَدْ تَرَكَ إِذْهَارَ الْجَزَعَ So whoever is patient, they have, they don't show their jaza, right? إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ خُرِقَ هَلُعَى إِذَا مَسُّهُ الشَّرُّ جَزُعَى so the people that Allah says are these people that are aligned with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they don't have this jaza. They don't show it. They might have internally difficulties, but they're not going to show it. But the one who's grateful, he, he transcends that to actually manifesting his surur. Surur, like the Arabs call Hubur and Surur. Do you know those terms? Fi Huburin wa Sururin. It's in the. Yeah. So Hubur is when it's inside. You, you feel the joy inside, but people might not know that you're happy. Surur is when. Every, or so, afwan, surur is when it's inside and, and, uh, and, and they can't see it. And Hubur is when everybody can see it. Sometimes you could be happy and nobody knows you're happy. So he's saying they show that izhar, a surur. Also, patience is not to do something bad. And gratitude is to do something good. You can't equate the one who leaves off doing something bad to the one who actually does something beautiful. 
Allah has, he has juxtaposed gratitude with reward. Whereas he, and he said, So this is what a lover does for the one he loves or she loves. Right? We will reward the people of gratitude. This was a master of the Arabic language. But he juxtaposed patience with a wage. The ajir is somebody who does something for to get a wage. Like so, he says, "Innama yuwaffa sabiruna ajrahum bighiri hisab." The patient ones will have their reward, but it really the ajr is something that you get for doing something without any reckoning. Reckoning. وَإِنَ الْأَجْرُ وَإِنْ كَثُرَ حَتَّى صَارَ بِغَيْرِ حِسَابٍ مِنَ الْجَزَاءِ And how, what, what, how can you compare a wage, even if it's immense and comes without any reckoning, with a reward? ثُمَّ قَالَ فِي الصَّبْرِ يُوَفَّى فَلَمْ يُسَمَّ فَاعِلُهُ So he said in with صَبْ يُوَفَّى Whereas with شُكْر he said نَجْزِ so with the patience, he put it in the mibni lil majhul. So he didn't name the fa'il, even though it's Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But with the, the one who's the gratitude, he named the fa'il, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Mm. Mm -hmm. وَقَالَ فِي الشُّكْرِ سَنَجْزِ الشَّاكِرِينَ وَسَنَجْزِ اللَّهُ الشَّاكِرِينَ In another, in Ali Imran. فانظر إلى هذا اللطف في المقار قبل الانتهاء إلى الفعل. Look at the لطف in in just the utterance of this before we get to the actual action. ورم يذكر من أنبيائه بالشكر إلا اثنين كما تقدم. He only mentioned two prophets with gratitude. And the prophet said, ورم أكون عبد شكورا. So we know. I mean, the prophet has that. I mean, he told us. And then so 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 then he says, كل من الصابرين. All the prophets are patient. وَقَارِئِ إِنَّ فِي ذَلِكَ لَآيَةٍ لِكُلِّ صَبَّارٍ شَكُورٍ فَجَعَرَ صَبْرَ مَبْدَأً وَشُكْرَ مُنْتَهَنٍ So there he put the sabar before and the shakur after. So it begins with patience, it ends with gratitude. فَجَعَرَ صَبْرَ مَبْدَأً وَشُكْرَ مُنْتَهَنٍ وَلِأَنَّ صَبْرَ مَحْمُولٌ عَلَيْهِ قَهْرًا وَشُكْرُ مُؤَدًّا تَطَوَّعًا Because patience is really a type of tahammal in the end. I mean, you're, what else can you do? Sabrun Jamir, Wallah Musta'an. Isbir Sabran Jamila. Allah commands the prophets to 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 have a patience without any uh, complaint to the creation. But he says gratitude is given willingly. Alhamdulillah. Pravecho Bisahul Afiya uh Afiat Ulsun Inshallah. Uh, Urdu, nahi ma'lum hai. Or what do they say in Urdu? Before meal, don't they say anything? <laughs> what they say? Allah ka shukr hai, biryani garam hai.